Right, well, we're we're on now. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin Wagstaff. If you don't know, one of the founders of Spectora. Today, I have Dalen Whitney with us. Um, say hi to everybody, Dalen. What's going on, everybody? Tell everyone uh, a little bit about your background, who you are. Um, yeah, what's your story, man? Oh, my background. Where do you start, right? Yeah, it's it's a bit diverse, uh, and how I ended up here. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but I did, and I'm super happy that I'm, you know, that I'm, I am where I am today. Um, man, I've done just about everything in my life. Uh, I think that's what actually led me to here. Uh, I've done uh, concrete work, framing, remodel stuff. Um, I've done. I was a youth pastor right before. That was my last job before this. Was a youth pastor. Um, I. Uh, I did water wells. I work, I, my father-in-law owns a, the, you know, the biggest water well company, drilling company in the area, and uh, you know, I, was, I did that before this for over six years. I ran the service um, into the business. Um, everything. Just done everything. everything. Yeah, man. I, I mean, geez. So I, you know, and that that right there, I think, um, you know, was one of my. One of the biggest things that kind of helped was a was a big thing that helped me in this in this industry a lot. Um, Let's back up and where's the business located? What what's the town, city, surrounding areas like where you're at? And then we can get into what specifically made you jump into home inspection. Yeah. But yeah, where's the um, business located? How long have you been in business? I'm in the Verde Valley in Arizona, uh, by, by Sedona. Most people know Sedona, uh, Red Rocks beautiful you know i mean there's days where i'm just like holy cow i get to hang out here and work um but uh so i'm and you know it's like about 90 miles north of phoenix is where i'm at so just to kind of give you a, a little idea of where location wise um but my um and you know my coverage area where i i should cover a lot of a lot of ground uh because i'm kind of rural mm -hmm. uh back, you know um the town that I live in, I think, is or the the Verde Valley, like basically the my home area uh, where I live is about sixty thousand people, so it's not not super big. Um, and then, but there's you know Prescott, which is you know a, a lot bigger area, Flagstaff, which is bigger. So you know, I cover I cover a lot of ground. How, what's the real estate market like in those areas and like how's it been you know over the last super five years and then this past year super hot um right now you know we've got a lot of folks coming in to the area from outside um you know like out of state out of you know in state out of the area uh, a lot of people buying second homes a lot of people buy you know it's, it's just i think it's you know this kind of tracking what's happening nationally, which is low inventory. We don't have enough inventory for uh, the demand. Yep. And, um, I was actually having a, a conversation about this yesterday with a realtor a buddy of mine that, uh, you know, and so what, what are they doing? What are they going to do to combat that? They're about to start building uh, in, in my local area. I think it's somewhere in the vicinity of 2,000 to 3,000 homes. Uh, and then over in the Prescott area, um, I've heard varying numbers, but in the fifteen to twenty thousand homes. So over the next, you know, so many years, yeah, so it's, like, it's crazy. You know, they're they're it's kind of like they're artificially inflating the the you know, housing market, which has happened before, and we saw how that ended up. Um, hopefully, yeah. that because that how does that affect? your job and what you do for, you know, what, for a new inspector that, that is starting in a hot market, how does that affect your job and how you do it and how you communicate to people? Well, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's it had, I'm building more houses. I mean, as long as you market yourself correctly and you do uh, good work, I mean, even new houses need inspected. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's good for us um 
Are there people waiving inspections there? Is it hot enough where people are saying, hey, I'm not going to ask for anything? Um, not really. Uh, I had a I had a I had one the other day where the, the client decided and it was kind of silly they're first time home buyers <laughs> and and they're a younger couple and they what? decided they wanted to save the money and do the inspection themselves on <laughs> and both to the you know the dismay of, of me and the realtor it was just like wow, good luck. Okay. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, no, we're not we're not at that level yet. Um but I mean and it's Pretty hot here. So let's. You, you mentioned marketing. Let's jump in there. This is one of the most interesting things. So for for everyone out there that doesn't know, Dalen has gotten off to one of the fastest starts as a as a newish inspector that we've seen and that we've heard about. So starting from day one, um, re, let's rewind back to where you just got into the business. What were some of the things you did early on that helped you get going? That helped you get those first ten jobs? Um, you know. The biggest thing is just, I, I think, being different um, and playing to your strengths. Me personally, uh, and I didn't realize this going into into this. Um, like I've mentioned, I've I've been in the area a really long time, and I've done a lot of different things. Um, and over the course of those varying jobs, um, I when I came into this, and I. You know, I did what a lot of guys do, which is walk into real estate offices, right? You go, you make a phone call, you you call up a broker, you say, hey, can I do a, a breakfast with you guys and, and present? Um, and, you know, I would go just or just walk into offices and I'd say, hey, I'm a new inspector, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out a lot of people remembered me. Um, and so I, as soon as I realized that, I was like, Wait a second! Like this is this could be really great, you know. Just just drawing upon that, and so I would, you know, people that I recognized, and I wouldn't think that they would recognize me. I would just be like, "Hey, didn't I? You know, remember when I worked on your what the well for, you know, what you know?" And I so I would draw upon all of these previous little re micro relationships or whatever, and um, and it, it, that was like a really big thing, but. I think the what you know that would kind of get my foot in the door, right? Yeah. And that's and that is the hard the hard part is I think as a new guy because real estate agents are skittish. My wife's a real estate agent, you know, and I'm, she just and a, a, a inspector yesterday, man. She's like, I will never use this guy again. <laughs> look, look, it wasn't me because she doesn't use me anyways. But uh, anyways, so she, you know. They're they're they are really hard to get their trust, and um, you know, getting your foot in the door is can be tough sometimes. But um, draw, you know, I would take I would literally take my computer, take my laptop, in with me to these meetings, and I would pull up Spectora. Like I, I swear to God, like this was a huge deal for me, um, believing in my in what I was talking about, and I believe in this product. Um, and I would so I'd take my laptop in, and uh, I would just say pull up a, a, a you know the the um, practice inspection or whatever the, the demo inspection, and I'd say, look, this is what this does for you. I, it wasn't about me. I'm here to make you know my whole thing is I'm here to make your life easier, and I think Spectora does that leaps and bounds way 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 better than any other inspection software it like just it helps everybody and so you know i i would i would do that um i really don't market a whole lot anymore it's it's crazy but um you know that's just be you know being different being the guy that says yes when everybody else is says no i mean the other day I had a, a, an agent that called, she called me and said, they call me every time and every time I'm always too busy. And I was like, you know what? I am tired of being, I'm tired of saying no to you guys. Cause they're, they are a big, like this lady, uh, you know, it's her assistant that calls me all the time. And this lady, she sells million dollar properties. Like they're just, you know, going out of stock. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm tired. She's going to quit calling me. So I was like, I will get it done. She goes, no. I said, nope, I, I will fit a fourth one in for you tomorrow. 
I, I, I can rearrange some stuff and it just happened to work out really good. But, um, and she, you know, I just, but I, I you know, I, it's being saying yes whenever, when people, other people say no. Um, I love it. I love it. And from my perspective, that's huge. So I want to re I want to recap this point because new inspectors I hear all the time, they get in the industry and they have their very set schedules and what they envision this business to be. And I get the feeling they're missing jobs. They're turning away jobs because they're saying, Oh, I don't work on Saturdays. Oh, I don't work on Sundays. I don't want to do an inspection after 4 PM. So for the new guys out there, do what it takes to get your foot in the door and make those impressions. Yeah. And then we we preach this at our presentations to new inspectors all the time of one, be different, and two, um, make it all about the agent. You said it the exact way we do when we present of like, show them what value you're gonna provide them. Cause uh, you know, it's like, this was second nature to you, Dalen, but a lot of inspectors, they just go in and drop off a business card and say, yeah, call me when you need an inspection. What the hell is that doing for an agent, right? No, and, and um I've been listening, I, I'm on the second time of, of reading the book, um, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Um, and that's really kind of been tweaking my, what comes naturally to me, which is, um, I like to help people just, that's just who I am. And- uh, We're gonna link to that in the description, by the way. Start with why, I'm gonna pull that good book. Um, but, that's basically what he, you know, he kind of talks about the whole, the whole theme of the book is why are you doing what you're doing? Um, and figuring that part out and, and me really, I, I'll kind of give you, you know, kind of backtrack a little bit. One of the reasons why I started this company and got into this profession was, Hey, I've got a, a, a really good buddy of mine. He does it. And I saw he was, he was doing very well with it in our, you know, and so, um, I, you know, I just decided, I was like, I was, that piqued my interest, right? Well, then my wife, I said, she's an agent. And I would listen to her frustrations dealing with all of these, you know, scheduling all of these different people, um, getting the very inspections done, time frames, and, and, and dealing with these guys who, who they just have no uh, personal, they have no relationship skills, you know, it's like they're just, Get, you know, give me the job and, and go away. They don't want to talk to anybody. They don't want to, you know, it's like, just let, leave me alone. Let me do my inspection. And then I'm done. Here's a report. I'm done. I'm out. Right. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I, I would go into the offices and it's, and, and I would, I, my whole thing is I want to make your life easier. I want this to be something I want this to be a relationship, a partnership, and there there does seem to be a bit of disdain for uh, real estate agents in the inspection world. Uh, you go into any inspection group, and you're just like, not the spectator one, but uh, yeah, no, <laughs> but many many ones, you know. And it's like uh, there is a, a, a sometimes not even an underlying tone. It's a pretty ob, you know big deal where they don't you know. It's like we talk bad about these people, but you know what? They're just like we are. They're just trying to scratch out a living. And you got to find out how to make a partnership together, and and one of the and we have such we have we have enormous power like in this in the deal right we really do as inspectors uh, we're kind of the glue that that just you know it, it's gonna we're either gonna bring it all together or we're gonna break it apart sometimes for the better um, but that was you know I mean you you can't walk into an office like you know like and just expect people to to fall at your feet because mm -hmm. you are cheaper, right? Um, they're they're gonna have you know you have to give them a reason um, to at least give you a shot. And the easiest way to do that, I found, um, is by presenting yourself in a way that that benefits them. Like I mean, plain and simple, we all want to feel like we're important in whatever it is we're, we're dealing with. I mean, we all want that as human, as people and business is no different. Um, and so you can go into the, into an office and be like, Oh, you bunch of realtors, you know, you guys are a bunch of crooks, you know, we're the honest ones. Get out of here with that. Like <laughs> if you are, if you feel as though the, the agent is not your client as well, you're missing the boat. Missing the boat completely. Good luck. Good luck.
can I mean, be, you mentioned these emotional skills and the relationship skills. Is this something that you feel can be taught? Because I, I, I know, and I know, you know, we've known each other over a year now. I know it comes naturally to you, but for the ex plumber, the ex construction guy, do you think that's something that can be coached or taught or improved on? Yeah. I mean, it's, it just comes down to, to just, you, everything boils down to a choice, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You, you know, you, uh, may have have developed a a course demeanor over the course uh, you know over the over your lifetime due to whatever factors but you know if you want to be successful you know you might you might you might go out there and, and make enough money for yourself and it, it all that comes down to your your personal goals personally i'm not in this to to be a one-man show um behind me i've got a casita and my, my first in you know, employee who's he's he's in there hang you know sleeping because uh, I I've been bringing him up just till he has his license. He's almost uh, he's just waiting on the state at this point. But um, he's a good buddy of mine and and wanted something different. And I was like, dude, I need some help. And so he went through the motions. Got you know he's gotten gotten through everything and and I'm not in this to to play around you know it's like i want to I, I throw out the word empire but I, I didn't even know what that looked like until i started this but that's you know that's what i'm going for i don't, I don't know how big an empire is going to be but it's going to be awesome i know that yeah no and, and it sounds like you invest in people and that's the like that's such a probably a foreign it, concept i you know it's like that's the other thing um and kind of goes back to what i said in the beginning just being different right and you know, so we've got this idea of what agents are like, and they have this idea of what we're like too. Mm -hmm. We are grumpy. We are, you know, ex-contractors who, you know, didn't want to swing a hammer anymore, and now, you know, uh, so now we're doing this, and, and it's like that. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't want to be that guy. Um, I don't want my company to be, to be represented that way. Um, you know, we, we got to change the, we got to change the stigma of that. And I, and I think a lot of younger guys are getting into this and, um, if you want to, if you got to be different, you got to be, I answer my phone. If I, I, if I'm in an attic or like constantly, I get a, now at this point, a year in agents call me and they're like, you're not in an attic. Are you I'm like, uh, yeah, I actually am. Like yeah. all the time, building those relationships, you know, it, it's it all it's all it all comes into one big picture of, you know, of what can be a, a great foundation for success is just being available, being you know friendly. Um, I get you know it's like one of the things I started doing was you know you, you start friending all these agents on Facebook and stuff. So Facebook is kind enough to tell you when their birthday is. So I get, you know, I'll get the notification in the morning. Hey, it's such and such person's birthday. So I jump in my phone and, you know, I, if you're an iPhone guy, um, you can in, in messages on, on just from my, my text message app, I can send a Starbucks card. And so I will send them a $10 Starbucks card and just saying, Hey, just want to thank you for being you know, such a huge part of my success. Um, I, you know, want to celebrate you on your day, go have a cup of coffee on me and, and, uh, you know, <gasps> Dude, that's contemplate, great. How, contemplate how great, you know, how, how, how great you are and, you know, just pump them up. Um, that's amazing though. That, that, like you just said that, like, it's so simple and you wake up and put a shirt on, but it's like, it's new inspectors that have to realize investing and giving $5. It's like, you're, the relationship's going to be way more. Your return on that's huge, right? And it's like guys are scared to do that. Everything comes down to relationship, man. Um, everything. It is not just this business. It's every, it literally is everything. And if if you want to be successful, especially in this, that's what this every transaction is. It's a real. It's the agent is trying to build a relationship with a client, and then they bring you into the mix. Right. I mean, most of the time, most of the time I'm starting like I'm starting to get more and more organic traffic, which is great. You know, they find me on Google or however, 
and they're like, you know, um, but 90, I'd say over 90% of the time, it's so-and-so called, told me to call you. <laughs> or, or they handed me your, you know, the three cards that they're supposed to give me. And I went out and looked at all of the guys on the internet. And, you know, so they went and did their own homework. And then you look like the best. Amazing. Answering that, you know, answering that phone, being like, hey, how's it going? Even with the clients, man, I... I tell my client at the end of every inspection, uh, you'll get your report this, you know, either this evening or in the morning. And if you, you know, if you have any questions, I'm always available. I don't, I don't care, and you know, I don't care if it's a month later. Give me a call. That's so personal and real. And so you, you've hit on so many points. I want to circle back to. So, um, going back to the professionalism of the industry, I think that's something a lot of people say they want. It's something I read in the forums. It's something as, as a company, we want to help raise up how inspectors are perceived and viewed. And I want mm -hmm. people to take note, like, look, you have a polo with your brand on it. You're well, you know, you're well kept. You look professional. And that's an underrated thing, I think, in home inspections, because realtors, it's all about how they look. You know, realtors, Absolutely. I used to be one. I would shave every day. I would put on nice clothes. I would be very professional. And I think when they see an inspector do that, it blows them away. And so I thought so I'm, not, I'm not worth you getting up and shaving. Is that what you said? Is that what you're <laughs> I used to shave every morning, but every inspector <laughs> needs to be aware of their appearance. Think about how yeah. you look, think about how you, your body language and all of these little things add up because agents are big on visual perception. And, and absolutely. As a, well, and you know, I, I don't know, I was raised, um, I was raised that, you know, you, if you want a job, present yourself, in a, in a professional manner. I mean, I would, I would show up to go get a, I, I showed up to go get a, a job pouring concrete in a shirt and tie and I got the job. Love like it. they laughed at me. Don't get me wrong, but I got the job. You made an impression. Guarantee you made an impression. Yeah. Standing out, right? You're the guy that's different. I did. And, and when I started this company, I was like, you know what? Like I, I've always just kind of, I've always liked to have a professional um, appearance. It didn't matter what I was doing, no matter how dirty I was going to get during the day. And so, you know, and, and everything, everything, that's another thing, you know, I mean, I listen to a lot of people who are a lot bigger than me and, you know, because that's where I want to get. And so branding, another thing, you know, it's like relationships and then branding as far as building a company Branding is like a huge deal. And my company, I, I, I created the logo. I created, you know, I came up with the name um, and it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and that's real, I, you know, and that's, I, you know, it's like, and, and it's not just, and I, you know, I tell this to other people that I talk to, it's not just for the client. It's not just for the agents. It's for me. Every time I pick up my phone, it reminds, you know, it's like, it reminds me, it keeps me focused. Um, I, I have a, this isn't, I don't have, I don't wear a white shirt every day. I have colored ones, but um, this is, you know, but they all, uh, they're all this, you know, a very nice looking polo. They get, they, they come clean, like suit. I can come in and get in a crawl space and get filthy. We don't have a lot of, you know, I mean, granted, if you're in a, a wet environment, you, you might get muddy. That's a totally different scenario. But like, I can come out of a, you know, dirty, dusty, crawl space brush myself off and these things still look like i mean like i i just put it on they're, they're yeah, great quality um, yeah but but they look sharp um and and i get it it's uh if i should tell this but it's it's just it, it kind of is a, a testament to um what i what i did was uh starting out you know i would i would walk in dressed like this. I, I got, you know, I have my, it's a uniform for me. Um, and so I go into the office. Well, I had this, I had this one agent. It was really funny. Uh, about nine o'clock at night, um, she texted me and it was kind of fun. It, I was like, I had to turn my head and luckily my wife was sitting right next to me. And she goes, she goes, Hey, Dalen, um, I just wanted to, to say something to you real quick. You're, you're by far the best inspector. Uh, that I've had, and she's been around for probably 20 plus years. Um, she says, "You're, you know, you're by far the best inspector that I had." 
And she goes, I, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a marketing tip from, from an old gal um, that your picture that's on your report, and I had a, a, a photo that was taken of me. I don't know where where and where, but I had sunglasses on. I was kind of like laughing. You know, it was, it was a decent photo. Yeah, good natural. <laughs> and um, so she goes, she goes, um, you're you're a much better looking man than you are in, in that photo. If from a from a marketing standpoint, you should you know I just you know giving you some advice. You should get a better photo on your reports. And I was like, and she goes not trying to be weird at all <laughs> and I'm like, advice, yeah. nine o'clock at night and you're texting you're like it was just kind of funny but being you know being that like it's an image and she saw that image time and time again that i would show up to the inspections i was looking sharp i would you know i get out i get out of the attic or whatever and i got insulation all in my hair and everything but you know it it it, it really does say something when if you're marketing, you know, if you're marketing to big agents, right? And you you pointed it out, these guys they come they come dressed to the nines, right? They come they come, you know, um, looking good. They they put in the work into, into their image. Well, we sh if we want to partner with them, we got to come up to their level. Exactly. If you're showing up to a t in a t shirt, um, you know. Yeah, we you know you got to look like the guy who's gonna, who's willing to get in a crawl space and get dirty, but that's not not necessarily just about look. That's like also about being you know just the way you present yourself. Like I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure you get a good inspection. So, and you guys got to have a great balance between being professional, and mirroring that image, and that goes from your body language, your handshake, your website, your software, the follow up emails. The, all these little details, I think, create a picture of yourself as a business. And a lot of new inspectors skimp over half of those. Um, and I try to remind them in all of our talks of like, guys, this is part image. But yeah, you got to be also that guy that is going to get dirty and crawl in the crawl space, but then shake their hand confidently. And, and you know what? I, I'm not, this is not knocking um, any older inspectors at all. I mean, I, I'm a firm believer in. Um, drawing from from experience and these guys have it and they're very important to the industry um and they're great inspectors um but i i get i've had multiple conversations with agents about um, and these are agents that have been in the game for a long time where they say i need somebody with more energy and um somebody who and 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 a big part of my marketing is I'm the guy who will go where nobody else will go. I will work my way into into an attic as far as I physically can. If I can stuff myself in there, I'll go. If I can, you know, fit myself in, into a crawl space that most guys would just pop their head into, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, and and at this point now, a year later, the agents market me that way. But this, you know, okay, here's three guys. But this guy, I can tell you, he will he will make sure and go the you know go the distance for you. Um, and I have I have intentionally hammered that in every you know, like conversation after conversation that I will be that guy. I will be the guy. And you know, it's like if I go into like the far reaches of a of an attic and I find something crazy, you better make you better believe I'm going to make a big deal about it. You know, be like, oh man. I would have never found that if I didn't go, you know, just off. Oh, it was such a pain. You know, it's like, let them know you, there's nothing wrong with letting them know you worked hard for them. Exactly. At that's the end of the day, that's branding. They are paying, they are paying you a really decent fee for not much work when you really boil it down. Right. Like that, that's one of the things I think that draws a lot of guys into this industry is that you can make really great money for very minimal work and um, but and so you know make people understand that you know what I'm willing to go and do as much as I pop like I will work as hard as this job will demand of me I don't care if it's hundred and fifty degrees in an attic you know it's like and it and it does get that hot in an attic here and 
I, but I will, I will, I still like, I, I go and I do the same routine. I will, I will be in that attic for 30, 40 minutes if I have to, because that's what I, I want to be known as. I want to be known as the guy who, who will go and do those things for the client. And you go the extra mile, and that's what a lot of a lot of new inspectors and even experienced inspectors need to remember that there's young, hungry, energetic inspectors that are going the extra mile, um, and that are being very present and having that energy. And anyone can do that. I think it just takes more effort to be present in every conversation when you're shaking hands, when you're on site. Um, but that's very interesting. You point out that some experienced agents are saying, "Hey, I just need someone with more energy," maybe for lack of a better term, but. Keep that in mind, new inspectors. Like being present, having confidence, and sometimes you gotta, um, you know, talk the talk before you walk the walk, or however it goes. You gotta just own it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I mean, you know, being the young, you know, being the young guy can be a disadvantage in this industry too, because they they'll you know they they might think you don't have the experience. You have to be, and I was thinking about this earlier before we talked. You have you have to be confident in what you're you're discussing. Um, if you don't be, if you don't believe in you, they're not going to believe in you. I mean that 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 all it translates it translates through how you you know through your tone it translates through your body language it translates through everything about you will communicate. I'm not sure that I can do this job, and um, people will pick up on that. Especially experienced, you know, experienced agents, and they will, and 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 not only that, but like the client too, the client will feel uneasy about you. Um, I, if I when I get a phone call from a client, which my market's a little different, I probably have night, but uh, maybe seventy-five to eighty percent of my inspections literally come direct from the agent. Like the agent calls me and says, "Hey." Here's an inspection, blah blah blah. Um, but you know the ones where the client calls me, it's you know like I land. I'd say probably ninety eight percent of them, even when they're shopping, they they will call me back um, because when I'm on the phone with them, I make sure that you know, in, not in a gloating way, but just make, communicate that you know what I'm the guy. I'm the guy you need. I will go, I will do everything I can to make sure that, you know, you are as informed as you can, you know, as you need to be when, you, you know, about this house. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to pride myself. I'm, I'm not a deal killer. I won't, I won't wear that as a badge of honor as some guys do. Um, what I am is a realist and I'm going to tell them the story that the house told me. And if that house, you know what? And I'm sorry, but I, you know what? I, I used to do remodel work. I've done construction. I know that just about everything can be fixed, right? Like you can go into a house and it might be a turd, but if they're willing to put in the work, who are you? Who are you to say you shouldn't put in the work? Right. This, this house needs work. I'm I'm going to tell you that, but I'm not going to tell you to walk away, and I'm not going to present the house in a way that that you should walk away because who am I to decide that you shouldn't be the guy who puts in the work to fix this house? That's, you know, and that takes and, humility, Dalen. I think that's amazing. And a lot, and some inspectors I come across don't have the humility or the lack of ego to say, Hey, it's not my place to, to tell you what to do or what you shouldn't do. And I, I'm sure I don't agents need, don't like that because as an agent, I don't need to be I, the smartest. Man in the room. No, I love it. And I think just even the, what you say on the phone when someone calls you, uh, a lot of inspectors can learn from of just that genuine confidence um, as opposed to either a sales pitch or um, kind of the usual UVPs that people push or price. Um, how do you deal with price? Like do people lead with, Hey, how much does it cost? And how do you answer that? Pretty much. I mean, I always, I mean, I'd be, I'd, I'd be, a, I'd probably be insulted if they didn't, you know, I mean, it's like, it's just normal mm -hmm. uh, to, to start with price. I'm not the cheapest guy, and 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 I, you know what? That was some of the greatest advice I think I got from the older inspectors that I did my parallels with, was they said, "Don't come into, don't go into your market," because that was my whole game plan. I'm formulating like, what am I going to do right to get these to get work? And I'm like, I'll just come in and be the cheap guy. 
And then the, they'll try me because I'm the cheap guy. And then eventually I'll raise my prices. <clears throat> and the the old guy, the older guys that I um, did my parallels with, they, that was like one of the things they said. They said, don't go into your market and underprice yourself. And I was like, it went against everything I knew about sales, right? And so I'm like, but I'm glad I listened. I came in and I did my research. Talked, you know, I talked about. Luckily, I have I have a research partner in you know in the house with me. I talked to my wife. I said, "What are your guys charging?" Blah blah blah. And she, you know, so I came up with my pricing. And I'm not the cheap guy. I'm I'm the um, I probably I've heard that I'm not I'm I'm one of the cheaper ones, but I I don't necessarily think that's true. Um, but I, you know, I came up with what I thought was a fair starting point and just built on that. Um, but I, I, I just tell people straight up, like, you know, and, it, and it's not just the words I use, it's the tone, it's everything about me. I believe in my product. I believe in what I sell. Um, and I think that translates obviously in more ways than just, hey man, I'm the best, you know, right. by seeing it. Um, is, but I communicate that I believe in my product. I believe in, uh, and, I, and I genuinely want to make sure that my client has a great experience. Um, and so all of that, I don't know how, I don't know, like, I know it can be taught, but I don't, like, I mean, obviously you can't teach it in, a, in an interview, but, right. yeah, be, you know, that, that confidence going over the phone when the client calls you up and says, hey, um, what do you charge for a 1500 square foot house? And I say, uh, you know, with termite, it's $430. Well, the, you know, they're like, well, I got a guy that he said he'll do it for, you know, 375. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I don't, I don't try to haggle with people. I just say, I'm just like, okay, you know what? I, I, I totally get that. I understand you're, you're, you're looking for the best price. Um, and I do the same thing. If I'm, if I'm shopping for something, you better believe I'm going to haggle with people. But, um, and that's why I said I would be insulted if they didn't start with price. Cause that's, right. that's where I go yeah. first and foremost. But, um, but you know, it's just like, you know, but I promise you, if you go, when, if you choose us and I, and I even, even though at this point it really is just me, I do have another guy, but it is just, I still use us. Like we're going to get to an us. Right. And it's all about, speaking what you want to what you want to create so i'm like if you choose us um i promise you that we will get in every space that we we can we're going to look at everything you know we're, we're going to give you um the best picture of the house that you can get and i and, I, and i'll even throw up go go google up, google us and then you know make your decision and that speaks to the importance of reviews, which we preach in our new inspector class every month is get those first couple of reviews because it gives you that ammunition and that confidence to say, Hey, we're going to, we're not the cheapest, but we're going to deliver top value. Just check out our reviews. Our customers are very happy. That confidence of saying you don't have to use us makes people probably want to use you more is my guess. Right. And I, yeah, I don't, I, I never, I, I never haggle on my price. It's like, if you don't look, I, I promise you, if you don't want to use me, I totally understand. Um, but I, I will, you know, don't wait too long because I will fill that spot. I love it. One uh, stat we point out in our presentation is, is something like 60% of consumers will use a medium or higher price service if they're assured that they're going to have a good experience. And I think that's right. exactly what you do when you talk to them is you basically make them feel like they're going to have a great experience. And they'll well, pay and okay, I'm going to flip flop this onto you guys. For Spectora, you know, you can go into any of the, the the Nachi groups or the other Facebook groups and throw out Spectora's name. And what is the one, probably the number one thing people complain about? Price. We're, too, we're too expensive. Yeah. We're, we're, we're too, too expensive. I can, I can get this for $600 and never have to pay another, you know. But you know what? That right there, the very, you are the very first contact I ever had with this company. A, you know, a, a little over, over a, a I remember year. Our conversation. Yeah, over I, cl I clearly remember our first conversation. And I called or I emailed you guys 
you emailed me back and you were like, let me know a time when we can have a conversation. And I said, perfect. Cause I'm a, I'm a phone guy. I, I, I don't text. I, I hate it. I hate email. I'll, you know, I do it when I have to, but even agents, like they'll email me. I call them cause I hate, I hate it. <clears throat> and so that right there, the experience of Spectora, the experience you and your brother started out creating um, is so great because you guys make it as personal as you possibly can. And even though you guys have these highfalutin offices with writing on the windows, <laughs> and, you, know, you, guys, <laughs> you guys have hit the big time now. You still take time to take, you know, to, to, you know, email me personally. You still take time to text me. Like, you know, if I text you or, you know, like that speaks volumes. And the moment that, I don't care how big we get. Um, we have to, you have to, that's, in today's society, we are the most connected, you know, it's like, let's get on a soapbox, but we're the most connected culture, society, the world has ever seen, and we're, and yet we are the most disconnected culture and society the world has ever seen. Well said. <clears throat> and so, with that, if we can bring that back, if we can, if you can be the guy uh, even in the home inspection industry or the, the software industry, if you can find a way to bring that relationship mentality and that, and that back into uh, anything that you're doing, um, you're going to be successful it, it, because it's what people are hungry for. They want to know that if I call up Century Inspecting, if I call Dalen, is he going to pick up his phone? You better believe it. I have, I have my headset in all the time. Um, and if I get a phone call, I answer it if I can, if I physically can, even if I'm, you know, the other day I'm laying in an attic, like, you know, staring up at, at the rappers and, and I get a phone call and I answer it and the guys, and it was a client and this is a funny story. So it's a guy, it's a guy, he calls me, he wants, he's chopping around <clears throat> and I said, he goes, do you do termite too? I said, uh, my agent said, you do termite too? I said, yes. I'm, I'm literally doing a termite uh, right now. And and so I, and he's like, well, it sounds like you're busy. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm literally doing a termite treatment right now. And I'm in an attic. And he goes, oh. And he goes, well, do you want to call me back? And I said, yeah, let me call you back. So I didn't. I, like, I got like five other calls after that. I, I, I didn't look at his number, which one it was, right? So I'm like... <laughs> I, I had no idea which one it was. I didn't remember who he said his agent was. And so I didn't call him back. So his agent texts me the next day and she's like, Hey, blah, blah, blah. And, and, uh, and then, um, so I text her back and then she gets back to me and she goes, Oh, he got cranky and found somebody else because you didn't call him. And she goes, and this was like, this made me feel so great and made me really realize because I used to be terrible with communication, terrible with it. Like it was the one thing people complained about me. They loved me, but they hated my communication. And so going into this, I knew I had to fix that. She said, I told the client, Dalen is so great with communication. There must have been a reason that he didn't get back to you. And I was like, wow, like that felt so good. And um, they, you know, it's like people always tell me, Thank you. You know, I just love that you always, I can call you and you always answer. And, and, you know, it's like, so just the, you know, being that guy that brings that relationship in, right. It, it, if, if your friend calls you, you pick up the phone. Well, that's how you want these agents. These agents need to feel like they're your friend. The client needs to feel like they're your friend. <clears throat> Huge lesson. I love it. And a lot of guys will say they don't answer the phone because they worry about how it looks to the current client. What do you tell a client if it rings and you're standing there with them? What's a good coaching point for inspectors? If I I really don't make a big deal about it, yeah. um, and I I again, it's all about presentation and and we as as humans we we pick up on subtleties more you know so and I think people you know I don't make a big deal about it mm -hmm. I, I you know I if I if they if I you can, you can kind of tell, like you look at their, you know, you can kind of see if, if the client's there, you look at their expressions and you look at, or, you know, they're like, wow, you know, you kind of tell like, why is this guy on the phone? Then I'll kind of say, you know, I, I just, I, you know, I just, I just, I just want to 
make sure I'm giving everybody a, you know, a good experience and they're comfortable and, 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 you know, I would do the same for you kind of deal, you know, make, make them realize like if you were calling me, I, you know, if you were in their shoes, I would answer the phone for you too. I like it. I like it. It's part, you know, it's part of the century inspecting experience. And I love it. It's real. This, it's is part, this is part of the century inspecting experience as well. This is my daughter, Scarlett. Hi there. <laughs> Mother's Day. She's dressed for Mother's Day tea at school. I love it. I love it. So, anyways, yeah. I mean, it's it's it really is like it all. It's all branding. It's all it's all it's all everything. It's all encompassing the whole thing. You know, it's like you have to you got to change who you you know who you are into who you want to be. Um, and I I think I I think yeah I, you know I had a lot of great starting stuff when I was. You know the way I was raised and all that. That was good foundation work. But coming into this, I had to change a lot of of who I am and who the way I operated. Like I guess you know mentioned, I was terrible with communication, but I'm really great with people. Um, and so communication is you know going to be one of those key things where um, you know it just it, it's all a big picture, and you can't teach it over you know, an interview, but, you know, pointers just to kind of, you know, I, I know we probably both got to be going soon, but to wrap up, um, if, you know, if, if you're a new guy, you're starting out, set yourself apart, find a way to do that. Um, Spectora is a great way to set yourself apart. L luckily, and I, I man, I, I, I hold this software like, like close to my chest. Yeah. I'm not kidding. You're basically like, part of the team. Well, I had a guy that a guy that I went to school with called me the other day uh, because I had reached out to him because I knew he had his license. I'm like, man, I really need somebody. And um, so, anyways, he goes, he asked me, he goes, who's what software are you using? And I said, I, I kind of jokingly, like half jokingly, told him, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. He goes, well, why why can't you tell me? I'm like because this is a big deal for me. Like people love it. Age, I get, you go on my Google me, Google Century Inspecting, you will see that people like mention my report a lot. And that, that's because of you guys. Uh, so finding ways to differentiate yourself. Spectore is a great one. If you're outside um, of Arizona, Spectore is great. If you're, if you're in Dalen's market, don't use it. Yeah, don't, if you're in, if you're in my market, Spectore is garbage. Uh, don't use it. <laughs> we'll lose business. <laughs> but no, uh, my buddy, he's in, he's in Prescott, Matt. I, I, I let, I, I told him about you guys. And he literally told me, he told me this a couple weeks ago. He goes, he said, thank you. Uh, it gave me my life back. That's amazing. So That's there amazing. you go. That's amazing. Services, you know, it's like finding ways to differentiate yourself, differentiate yourself in services. Be the one man show. If you can, like, be the guy that an agent, and that I tell, I, that's why I tell agents all the time: call one guy, and schedule with one guy instead of two or three. So get right? your licenses, get your certificate. <laughs> and what does that do again? You're making it about them, making yep. their life easier. Um, you know, so that's that's a huge way I've been able to differentiate myself. I figured out the services that I could offer <clears throat> that are very um, prevalent in my area. And I capital capitalize on that. Um, so software services, uh, and, and then the phone, just all yeah, and just and then and then everything else falls on on you. Um, presentation of yourself, uh, communication, um, branding. Make sure, like, I mean, so I, I can't really. I don't know. I could. You can't really. Couldn't really see it, but my, I, I drive a bright orange jeep like you know like everybody and i get clients all the time at this point now they're like man i see that jeep everywhere daily take a picture of it and send it to me we'll make it the thumbnail cover photo on this youtube <clears throat> we'll show yeah you. it's like right you might be able to see a little bit of it but it's like yep. over there it's it's a bright orange jeep um and it's got my logo in you know really really big on the back of it. And it just says, has my, my blue uh, helmet with century inspecting below it on both sides. And, but it stands out. And, and it's even, it's even made a couple of its own payments 
just by being so awesome. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, so it's, you know, just all of that together. Um, you can learn how to do it. You can, you know, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing, you know, that's, I, I think that's another, just another thing that I was raised to, I was just raised to, to never stop learning. You know, it's like, never think you know everything. Um, I'll say that again, Dave. It's huge in this industry. I feel like we have to keep evolving and learning and growing, right? Absolutely. And especially with, you know, especially in technology. I mean, you guys have, you've helped me understand a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm pretty tech savvy. You've helped me to understand a lot of stuff, like especially like with SEO and, and like kind of dissecting all of that, like questions I've asked you and you, you know, you've been a huge resource for me. Um, and you know, which is why I'm going to, you know, we've been talking about it, but I, I just finally ended my contract with my other SEO yeah. company and I'm gonna be, we'll get it going. Um, I, you know, I believe in you uh, just like you guys believe, have believed in me. And you know, it's like, I, it, it all comes together. Um, I'm always, you know, again, kind of like I do with my clients, I'm always available. If, if there's anybody that ever wanted help or, um, advice, you know, I love to talk. I'm a, I love people. I love helping people. Um, I've, I've talked with, you know, a few other guys when they had questions, you know, newer guys that were just like, I don't know how to do this. And, and I just throw it out there like, Hey, I've, I've done something. It's been, it's been really great. Um, I don't have all the answers, but I, I'll I'm willing to give away what I've got. Um, and, and it comes back to you, man. I'm, I'm a kind of a, in a way like a karmic universal person. And it's like that comes back to you in so many good ways because you do give first. And I feel like people that give just end up doing better and they get a lot more in return. Absolutely. And Dalen, so, you, you've killed it, man. I know you got to run here. Um, you know, everybody, Dalen is just one of the most successful new inspectors. So I'm going to give links where you can find him and reach out to him. Um, you know, whether you're a new inspector or experienced, um, I'll link to the book you mentioned. Um, anything else you want to part with here? No, uh, I mean, you know, just, um, thank you, I guess. Thank you for, to you guys. Uh, I, I really, really do. And I'm, this is, you guys are not, you know, to all the, the guys out there who accuse us of, of, um, being paid by you guys for, to promote you. I, I will spread your name all over like, <laughs> religiously because I, not because you offer a, a, a link to get a discount, but because I, be I believe in, in your product. Um, and so I just want to say thank you for, for creating what you've created. Um, it's so much more than an inspection software. It really, it's a community. And that's so hard to build, especially on the internet. Um, but you guys have done it and you've done it really well. Um, I mean, I, you have been a very integral part of my success and so I, I just want to say thank you to that because I really, I genuinely don't know if I was using another software. Um, I don't, I don't know that I would have like broken in and in my first, I mean, my first year I, I, did, I did over 400 inspections. Woo. Insane. Amazing. Amazing. And, and I, I genuinely attribute a large part of that success to what you guys enabled me with, which was, which is Spectora. I, I believe that wholeheartedly and, and disclaimer was not paid to say that. <laughs> well, I appreciate I, that. I just believe in it. I really, really, really do. So well, we appreciate you and our, our community is because of guys like you that came on early on and uh, invested, you know, really shared knowledge. And that's just what we're building here. And I think we're all going to do um, great things and continue to do great things. So thank you. And if, um, if anyone needs to reach out to Dale and I'll link to everything here, um, just because he is such a base of knowledge. So utilize it. You may get a few calls. He'll get back to you eventually because he might be in an attic or something, but I might be in an attic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to my phone. I do. I, even if an inspector called me to, to today, I, 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 I talk to people on the roof all the time. Like I end up spending too much time on a roof because like, I kid you not, like, I remember one time I was doing this attic and last summer, just a real quick, I was in this attic and it was hot and I'm up there and this agent called me and I'm talking to her. And after I get off the phone, I look down, I'm like, Oh my God, I've been up here for like 50, you know, it was like 50 minutes or something ridiculous. And I was, I still hadn't even inspected the attic. I was like, Oh, I'm that I like people. So anyway. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, Hey, 
Can, let's do a part two of this. I think we covered so much. I think there's still so much to cover. Let's do okay. a part two sometime. And, uh, Absolutely. And we'll catch up soon. All right, buddy. You have All an right. amazing day. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. See you guys. All right.